Hey everyone, welcome to another video uh, episode for Practical Reef. As you may notice, the tank looks slightly different. Uh, the reason for that is it has gone through one additional move in uh, the last uh, two days. So I've moved the tank uh, from one room uh, to the kitchen. Um, and this time around, although I've used the same sand, uh, the move was definitely uh, uh, easier and it went on much faster and this time around I did not really uh, have any issues uh, everything has survived there's no hardy uh, sorry there's no delicate corals in here right now everything's pretty hardy but uh, nevertheless uh, I'm glad to uh, to see that everything is looking pretty decent um, so I always wanted uh, a tank a sunlit tank and this time around, um, in the room, in the kitchen, I um, do get direct sunlight uh, in the morning uh, for about uh, half an hour. And I uh, intend to make it uh, my favorite uh, uh, coral uh, and fish uh, observing time. So um, right now it's uh, pretty gloomy outside. There's lots of rain. Uh, Toronto is going through a, a flood. But uh, I hope in a, in a few weeks uh, or I'll, everything will settle in and I'm going to get to enjoy it. Um, so the tank move did not take too long, but uh, it, was, it definitely was an effort. One of the most painful thing was um, running the um, wiring, which you can see over here. So I got uh, the Ethernet for Apex, which I still use the old model, which I prefer. Uh, and um, three uh, wires or tubes, quarter inch tubing for uh, the liter meter so that to change the water. I am uh, always also uh, have upgraded my dozer. So this time around I'm using the uh, Camoir. Uh, let's just see if the uh, camera will not be confused. Here it is. I'm not sure. Okay, here it is. So um, I'm using a Camoir uh, dozer, which I got from Reef Supplies. It's a Canadian uh, company, uh, which is where I buy most of my stuff, and I can highly recommend them. And here's a shout out to them. So this is a better version of the dozer I had before, which uh, can be controlled through the iPhone which I do like so it's wireless uh, as you can see there's not a lot of other changes everything has been growing there's no serious algae infestation um, so things are just uh, hanging in and I hope to uh, load this tank up uh, within a month uh, with all the corals that have been going through quarantine so I, to anyone who has uh, listened up to this point, uh, I got a little bit of bonus uh, information which I thought I would share with, uh, with, with the rest of uh, uh, the world. So I, just before my um, original move, um, I did discover uh, red bugs in, on my Acroporus and I've always dipped all of my corals and was pretty careful uh, but nevertheless somehow they made it through so my plan going forward was uh, that i would let this tank run fallow which is you as you can see i've been doing this so there hasn't been any acros in this tank for over uh, two months now so anything you know that i may have had here uh, should be dead by now so there's no acros however uh, in my frag tank, I've uh, saved a few pieces of acros and uh, I did see red bugs on it. So I've been doing uh, dips on them, on all of the tanks. So I would take all of the corals out and, and dip it and then uh, put it back in uh, every uh, week. So I've done it for four weeks. And uh, the moment I've skipped one week, so I waited for two weeks, I discovered to my uh, you know dismay... Uh, red bugs again so i always thought that a full dip would uh, take care of uh, 
the red bugs uh, and uh, you know the eggs would you know not survive through the full cycle but uh, clearly that's not the case now I have been dipping with the revive um, I have not been using interceptor for that I was not targeting red bugs per se but as you can see um, when you buy a coral somewhere even if you dip unless you probably use that interceptor or bear or whatnot um, there's a chance uh, you may just get the red bugs even though uh, you've done all the uh, uh, all the precautions so that's that's where I'm at so this is one of the reasons I'm not putting the uh, corals in there yet so I intend to run uh, uh, something on my other tank to uh, make sure that everything is clean before I will load this tank up because uh, you know I don't want to risk what I have and don't want to mar the experience so that's that's where I'm at uh, thank you for watching uh, I hope uh, this has been somewhat educational and uh, I'll uh, talk to you in uh, in a month uh, cheers